Akinmie should have known better here. You know, he approaches Arno and he suggests to him, "Hey, how about we work together here? I'm looking for somebody to come in on on my side. I think you should make a bid for 25 <laughs> percent of LVMH's stock. Remember, Guinness only wants 20 percent at this point, and the Vuitton family will support you. Together, we're gonna, now going to have majority control over this company." Arno ends up really allying with Guinness. And very shortly thereafter, in July of 1988, they announced that they're creating a new JV together, controlled 60% by Arno, is going to be financed with $1.5 billion that is going to buy 24% of LVMH. He literally, you know, feels like he just got stabbed in the back by this young guy that he was going to make his protege and probably his successor. Bernard now is literally on the the precipice of taking over LVMH, which is not what anybody was intending here. 